Hi, in this uh, video today, we're going to look at the new feature in view, which is the inclusion of um, the option for orthogonal projection within view. Orthogonal projection is uh, basically orthographic projection, which relates to uh, drafting in terms of architecture and engineering, where you wish to represent uh, uh, a true and accurate uh, version of what's being built. In other words, no perspective. We already have this in view with the top view, side view and front view. So you can see there is no perspective involved and these dimensions of all of the edges, surfaces, corners, etc. are geometrically correct and accurate in terms of dimension. This is slightly different when we come to the active camera view where we have perspective. Now I've deliberately uh, shortened the focal length to exaggerate the perspective in this view just so we can appreciate what's going on. And you can see this little building I made for the purpose of this exercise sitting on our view grid with the corner on the corner of one of the grid squares. And you can see that perspective is in play because all of the parallel lines disappear towards infinity or converge at infinity. What we've done, as I say, we've added this orthogonal projection button. Now, this is only applicable to uh, the perspective camera or the active camera or any cameras which involve the use of perspective. So if we just switch that on and let's see what happens. So first of all, uh, let's deal with the zoom. Zoom in terms of the camera is slightly different because as we zoom into the object you'll see that the cameras don't move it's almost like working on a piece of paper you can also see from the grid lines that uh, perspective has been removed and this means that these di the dimensions of the building or whatever it might be in your scene remain true and constant to what they would be in reality what we really need to be doing is looking at the angles and with orthogonal projection, we're generally talking about isometric and axonometric projection, which is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. And this is what we're simulating in view. When we talk about isometric projection, and let's just quickly have a look on the, uh, the internet and see what we can see in terms of isometric. So we have perspective, we have isometric, and we have axonometric. All we have to do is remember that in terms of isometric, these angles here, i.e. this edge and this edge, in isometric they are identical. So they can be 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, etc. Usually in increments of 15s, 30s or 45s. And that's simply because of drafting tools with your set squares generally 45 degrees or 30, 60 degrees. Axonometric, we can vary those angles if we desire. So we can have one side at 60 degrees and one side at 30 degrees. So this symmetrical, this anything we want it to be. So going back to view. There we go. So we've changed it to orthogonal. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the pitch of the camera to a multiple of 30 degrees and because I want it to be isometric I'm going to make it 120. Why 120? Because if the camera were pointing vertically up that would be 0 degrees. If it was pointing horizontally that would be 90 degrees but because we're pointing downwards i.e. less than 90 or below 90 we had to have we have to add another 30 degrees on. So that makes it 120. The your that can be anything you want it to be. Uh, I'll make it nice and easy, make it just a nice, simple 135 degrees, which is negative 145 or minus one, uh, not 145, 45, sorry. So I have 0, 90, minus 45. So that becomes 0, 90, 135. Uh, it's uh, a sad thing for some of us who aren't very fond of maths but we have to be aware of how angles work and to, to achieve what would be an industry standard projection so that's isometric where we've got identical uh, angles either side 
We can change that to an axonometric simply by looking at the yaw of the camera. So if I make that say 150, so that's 90 plus 60, you can see we get an uneven angled angular projection. So that's placing more emphasis on the face of the building as opposed to equal side and face. It's worth remembering at this point, naturally, as a view user, I would right click and drag that so the house is in the middle of the uh, um, camera projection. Thing is, that will mess up our projection up here, the 120 and the 150. So what we need to be looking in the plan view or the top view. And we'll just move the camera accordingly so we get the house in the middle of the scene. It's worth noting that if we switch back to uh, perspective, what we need to do is correct the focal length because view doesn't really know what you want to do at this point. So by default, it's generally around 32. So if I zoom out and you'll see the camera moves now because we're back in perspective and we can see the perspective moving in uh, the two directions or in fact three point perspective because it's decreasing in uh, um, size vertically as well as horizontally and in X and Y. I hope you found this useful. I like it as a, as a feature because I spent many years as a draftsman um, illustrating in isometric and axonometric uh, and remember that it does have real world applications in terms of um, construction in terms of game design and I think it's quite a nice way of illustrating a little scene it makes uh, makes life that little bit more interesting don't forget to let us know if you need any more information on any aspect of view and give us some feedback on social media that'd be much appreciated thanks a lot bye bye